so my video stopped recording. This is going to be a three-parter. Um, just want to show everything's assembled. I haven't done any other trims besides what I showed you. I assembled it all, and now check it out. I'll turn on the switch, and I'll unlock it. Now, when it connects wirelessly, it's probably hard to see, but the <laughs> the lights do come on. There you go. And similarly, when I sleep the switch, turn it off. You should see those lights turn off in just a second. There they go. It's just because they're white. It's uh, kind of hard to tell. And similarly, if you plug it in, the lights do come on when you plug it in, but it should uh, shut itself off. <laughs> um, Sometimes the switch, it, does, it likes to do some communication in handheld mode. And it tries to figure out what's going on with the controller, check if there's updates. Um, so it will activate the controller during that time. But then the lights will go to sleep by themselves eventually. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me show you the cuts for the right shell. And that should be everything. So just like the other shell, we're going to cut those button gates. But instead of doing the inside, we're going to cut this outside piece. Because the PCB gets oriented the same way the, the little ribbon cable just flips around the other side of the board. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so here's what that looks like when it's done. So I've got these four openings for the PCB. So let's go ahead and put the buttons in. And we'll move on to the next part of this trim. Okay, so I think I know what we're going to have to trim here. And I'll just point it out as best as I can. We're definitely going to need to get rid of this guy. That's on the that's the lower. So if we look at the top piece, this is on the mid frame. We're going to cut this. And then let me double check. We can go ahead and just, um, we're also going to cut off this piece. And we're also going to kind of trim this entire ledge off. It's not going to interfere with the structural support. So let's see if we can just go ahead and do that now. Cool. And I think that's it. I'm going to do a test fit. If I run into any issues, I'll stop the video. If not, I'll just fully assemble it. So in my case, I did have several wires running up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim this lower one. And we'll go with that. See how it goes. There we go. Oops. There you go. So that top one I left, but let's let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so this is the point where you're going to want to test functionality. I got it all together. Everything seems like it's working just fine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shut off display mode. And to do that, you hold your primary button and you press the secondary one four times and hold. It'll flash green and then it'll turn off. Now, when I plug it into the switch, it'll light up. Let's make sure there's any, if there's any controller updates that you run them. It's updating now. And then once that's up to date, you're going to want to do your configuration. So you're going to press the primary and just press the secondary four times, no hold. It's going to flash turquoise. I'm actually going to change it to solid color mode. So that's three presses, three more. That's going to change it to solid color. And now I'm going to change the hue until I'm where I want to be. Okay, so I've saved all my settings, and now 
Let's just make sure it's all shutting off when it should. Sometimes it can take a second. And there we go. They're all shut off. Everything seems to be working perfectly. If I hit the home button, it'll wake it. And it's nice because uh, the microcontroller actually goes into a power saving mode when it goes into that sleep. Let me just make sure that the control stick's calibrated. If I even plugged it in properly, which I didn't, so that's going to be something I'm going to have to figure out. But the LEDs are all working, everything seems great. Sleep mode works. I know it's not going to show in this awful video, but it is working. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.